Hey everybody, Yogi Philosopher here at uh, Jungle Fitness where I, where I teach. Uh, and today I just wanted to do just a quick little spiel of wrist and shoulder safety in downward facing dog. Um, you know, during my time of being a yoga teacher, I've had a lot of beginner students who kind of, they tend to do the same kind of things in downward facing dog that aren't, you know, good for your wrists and shoulders. And so for this video, I'm just going to quickly say a few things uh, about wrist and shoulder safety. Uh, primarily, or to begin with, we need to acknowledge, you know, the very, the very simple fact that unlike our feet, our wrists are not meant to bear weight. So that the way that fleshes out in the yoga practice to protect the wrists is you want to distribute weight as broadly as possible in your wrists. So like sometimes I'll see people and they show up and start doing down dog with like their fingers together like this. It's not the best way to do it. And it's not you know ultimately the healthiest way or safest way. So you don't have to go crazy with like spreading your fingers as much as possible, but you definitely want some kind of distance between your hand or between your fingers if that's possible and then secondly you want your the creases of your wrists to be parallel with the front edge of your mat so again sometimes I'll see someone and their one of their hands or maybe both of their hands will be a little bit you know wonky and uh, in order to get your wrist crease parallel to the top of your mat you can see if you're either your index fingers or middle fingers are parallel so that's just a nice quick little way to kind of look down and be like, okay, you know, here's, you know, here's where that is. Um, and then finally, or thirdly for the wrists, uh, you don't want to have the weight in the wrist roll to the outer kind of, you know, the outer parts of the wrist. You want to ground down to those index finger knuckle digits of the palm or of the wrist uh, to, again, protect the wrists and to stop or stop the weight from going to the uh, outer parts. And now with the shoulders, my main concern is that you roll your biceps in and up and down facing dog that you're not letting the kind of external rotation here but the internal rotation to protect the shoulders um because if you let those uh biceps roll down you're bringing a lot of stress into that upper back and your shoulders um they are dumping a lot of weight there which is not good um and yeah so that's pretty much it <laughs> you know it's very simple very you know clear uh just a good way for you beginner yogis if you're interested in, in pursuing your yoga practice or want to stick with it it's important that, you know, if you're not used to bearing weight as we yogis are in our wrists and, and shoulders that much, that you do it correctly so you don't hurt yourself. Yeah. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye.